In this video, I'm going to walk you through how to create a blog post with chat GPT that I believe has a great chance of ranking on Google, maybe even in the number one spot, but on the first page. Now, right now on the screen, you'll see that I am in the chat GPT free version, the dashboard. Just to save us time with this video, I want to let you know that I did some background work before we got started. And what I did was I hopped on to Ahrefs, it's a keyword tool, and I found a keyword that I think has a great chance of ranking. I plugged reddit.com into this keyword tool and I looked for organic keywords that Reddit ranks for in the top three spots with a lot of search volume but a low competition i checked it out manually on the google uh, search results page and i found what i think is a very good search term and that search term is what do you call a deer with no eyes it's a very simple joke and i'm going to write a blog post about it using chat gpt I think ChatGPT will be really good at this because it can explain what the joke means, talk about different variations and where you could use the joke. And I don't think you'll have to write a very long blog post with ChatGPT to rank high with this kind of content. As far as creating a blog post with ChatGPT, there are about 21 different things at, at the very least, at a minimum, that you can do with ChatGPT to create a SEO optimized content blog post where that you can rank on Google. So let's go ahead and start with this keyword. And I'm gonna give ChatGPT just a little bit of information about what it is that I want it to do. So first of all, I already got my keyword. So now I am going to be looking for a title. I'm gonna ask uh, ChatGPT to give me a title, come up with 10 catchy and SEO optimized titles for a blog post about. I'm going to put the title in quotes. I don't think that's necessary, but I just like to give chat GPT and any of these chatbots as much information and instruction as I can. I'm also going to say you are a professional blogger. So you can tell and ask chat GPT to think in certain ways. So let's go ahead and click this little button to send that instruction. Chat GPT is now coming up with the titles and let's see what it comes up with. So these are all good titles that you could use. Since my keyword is this very question, what do you call, you call a deer with no eyes? Joke explained. I'm going to um, probably just use this as my title, but I wanted to show you what ChatGPT could do, because if you didn't have a title uh, that you wanted to use, then you can certainly ask ChatGPT to do it. Copy this again. I'm actually gonna copy this whole instruction. And you can obviously continue doing um, asking chat GPT to do something in the same conversation or you can create a whole new chat um, which is helpful sometimes if you don't want the software to look back at what you've already doing so next let's come up with an outline for our blog post create an outline for a blog post about what you call deer with no eyes joke explained and I want to give it a little bit more in information about this outline. As you can see, Chat B, uh, GPT gave me a very long outline. I don't want to use every single one of these sections. I think that would be um, overkill and um, probably you don't need that much, but um, it's going to give you all the information and more that you need. And so what we can do now is ask GPT to go through and write a paragraph for each one of these outline points that we actually want to use, um, or all of them, and then we can just take out what we don't want when we copy and paste it into our blog platform, our website, whatever. Uh, but you can see this is an excellent outline that this um, chat bot, chat GPT, can give for us, and that can do it on any topic. So now let's go through and ask chat GPT to start filling in this information. Right, a short 
and catchy introduction for this blog post about the what uh, chat gpt gives us for an introduction and then we're just going to repeat this same kind of request for each one of these sections that we want it to create all right so have you heard have you ever heard a classic joke about the deer with no eyes and been left scratching your head well the punchline is finally here get ready to understand the humor behind the timeless joke it's age-old question great i like it so anyway i like this you could just literally copy this which is what i will do and copy and paste it into a blog post but let's continue going to show you how to do this um, to fill out for a couple more of these sections again it's just rinse and repeat at this point for filling in the paragraphs as you can see i'm just asking um, chat gpt to give me a paragraph for each section and explaining the joke a little bit in case chat gpt doesn't know the answer to it um, i wanted to make sure that i'm guiding it the way i wanted to guide so let's see what happens there we have it. You can see that ChatGPT gave me a paragraph, short paragraph for each section. Um, this equals about 337 words. I just checked that. I don't want to expand on it because this is probably too short for a blog post. I want at least 600 words or more for this to rank. That's what I'm going to ask ChatGPT to do next is expand some of these sections and add a few sections that I think will also be helpful for ranking. What I'm going to do now is copy this section background of the joke i'm going to paste this into the chat and then right under here i'm going to ask chat gpt to expand this section all right so gave it some instructions ask it to expand this paragraph let's see what happens i went ahead and wrote out some more instructions for the chat gpt i wanted to add another section to this blog post with variations of the joke which i found through doing some research and i put that information and instructions here into this prompt now i'm now going to send it to chat gpt allow it to write that blog post section Again, look how it's just adding to the outline, and it's probably going to give me um, a paragraph or two or three with this new information based on the input that I gave it, based on my prompt. Check out what ChatGPT gave me. Again, gave me lots of um, information. Again, probably more than I need. I'll cut some of that out in the final version before I publish this on a platform. Um, but you can see the, the possibilities here and how easy it is to get this software to write a blog post for you. Of course, ChatGPT is not the only software that does this. There's Jasper Chat has a chat version that I use and it works very well. Um, I think Writer Sonic has a, a chat bot. Um, there's a, Google's coming out with a new one, Bard, I think. And there's just a bunch that are probably gonna flood the market over the next six months to a year. But this is obviously the one in everybody's mind right now, and it is pretty cool for creating a blog post. Here is a completed or almost completed draft of this blog post about the joke. As you can see, we have about four pages of content in words we have over a thousand which as you might remember from the beginning that is exactly what i wanted at least a thousand words to help this possibly rank i just wanted to show you how this article looks when it's almost complete we have the title we have the answer to the joke up here trying to get the featured snippet then we have our sections obviously i'll be adding a picture there i'm going to show you the published version on google um, in just a moment and we'll see if it ranked or not and then we have our sections here see this is a lot of great information so this is a great draft almost complete draft but now let's jump over to google and i'm going to show you what this actually looks like in a published version here we go we've typed in our search what do you call a deer with no eyes and let's see if it ranked so we got one two three four five six seven and would you look at this what do you call a deer with no eyes joke explained we're number eight we're on the first page of google this happened actually within 24 hours after publishing this on medium.com um, and you can see here here's our title this is the image i came up with i used jasper art to get the deer put it together with canva you can use the free version. I use it for a long time. I have the, the pro version now that's paid, um, but both versions are good. And you can see I have the whole article is here and it looks virtually identical 
to the draft version and I entered um, also embedded a video in there to help it rank a little bit. This is almost identical to the article that we created with ChatGPT. And you can see I added the links and here's my little bio at the end. So if you wanna check this out, Google it. Um, Google the search phrase, go down to number eight. What do you call a deer with no eyes? You actually help it rank if you Google it and click on it. Other cool things you can do with ChatGPT as far as blogging, you can set up ChatGPT to write in whatever voice or tone that you want. You can even paste in other writing that you have published elsewhere online. You can paste that, copy and paste that into ChatGPT and then ask ChatGPT to use that same style, voice, and tone in whatever it is that you want it to write for you next. You can also create meta descriptions and Google featured snippets. Like I said, ChatGPT is not the only software you can do this. You can also use Jasper. You can do Writer Sonic. And I'm going to put some of those links in the description of this video. Feel free to like, subscribe, and comment to ask any questions. Other than that, that's it for today's video, guys. Thanks so much for watching. I'll see you in the next video.